Hi and welcome to Vintage Guitars Gearing Up. Today we're going to be taking a look at three pedals offered by McCaffrey Audio. We have the Reactor Boost Compressor, the 0 to 60 drive, and the Green Vodka Muff. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be playing a Strat, a 65 Twin reissue, and we're miking the cabinet with an SM57 microphone. Let's take a closer look at these pedals. The reactor boost compressor has an output volume for adjustment, fusion affects the drive and compression ratio as we change the level, and the critical mass is a three-way bass response switch. We have jangle at center for smaller bass increase to the left and a larger bass increase for the right. For this demonstration, we're going to be using the center position, also known as the jangle. All three pedals are powered by DC power and use Nutric Jack ends. Let's take a listen to the Fusion at a 8 o'clock setting. Let's take a look at the fusion at 1 o'clock. The level setting I'm going to bring down just for a volume adjustment. Last, we're going to take a look at the fusion with turned up almost all the way. Next, let's switch gears and take a look at the 0 to 60 drive. The 0 to 60 drive has a volume control, a mid frequency tone control, and a drive to adjust the gain or boost. The boost switch itself adds less or more bass response. The shift adjusts the diode amount. In the center, we have no diode, pure op preamp. To the right, we have a basic silicone diode, and to the left, we have a custom blend. For this demo, we're going to keep on the custom blend and we're also going to leave our boost in left hand position. Let's take a listen to what this 0 to 60 drive sounds like. Listen to this pedal at the 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock position.
last, let's take a look at this pedal almost full throttle on the drive. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at the Green Vodka Muff. The Green Vodka Muff has a volume control, a sustain for control for adding fuzz, and a tone control for high and low adjustment. Our B switch is a two-way switch that allows for less or more low end. Our pass is similar to a high-low switch, but is a three-way. We have a standard stock mode in center, to the left, we have some added low frequency, and to the right position adds a larger low frequency response. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to keep the B starting in the right position and the pass in the left. Let's take a listen to the green vodka muff. Now let's hear what the sustain sounds like on full. For this one, I'm going to switch to the middle pass position. Let's hear what those two sound like. 